Let's go over to the next example. Okay. Okay, that's another example there. Looking at the first uh, beat there, as you can see, the first beat is empty. The first placeholder is empty. We have our semicolon. Then inside the second one, we have uh, two notes there. And those two notes are divided by what? A semicolon, yes. A semicolon, they are divided by a semicolon. Now somebody will be asking, you said three notes. When you have three notes, that is where you have a semicolon. What's happening here? Don't worry, we'll do with that. Then the next bar, we have a full beat there. Only one note is there. Then in the next bar, we sustain. Sorry, the next the next uh, beat in that second bar, that is the second beat. We sustain that so. Mm -hmm. Then we jump over to the next bar, that is the third bar. There is a dot there, and there is nothing that is coming before the dot, meaning before the dot is empty. But you have to observe it. You can't just say because there's nothing there. Uh, let me just continue singing. That, that dot there means something. It means that, remember, dot is used to divide a, a particular bit into two equal parts. Now, in that placeholder where you are seeing that la, there's supposed to be something at the bottom. La is at the top, but the bottom is empty. Remember our previous example. When you see a particular placeholder where no note is written at that place, it means you keep quiet and it is intended for you to take a breath, for you to rest, because you can't sing all through without breathing, right? So, composers normally leave those uh, places for you to, you know, steal in a breath. Sorry, I use, I use the word steal. I, I don't mean like stealing. Like, take a breath. That is what those places are intended for. Okay. Then, in the next one, you have Lado. That is two notes. And you have a dot there separating the two notes. It's important. You don't just say, because I have two notes, then they must be half. No. For example, take a look at the first measure. The second beat. We have two notes. But they are not divided by a, measure, uh, by a dot. They are rather separated by a semicolon. It means a different thing. It's no longer um, a half beat. It's a quarter beat. So when you see two notes in a particular placeholder, that is a beat, please look at the sign separating them. It's very, very important. So in this particular uh, case now in the third bar, la do is separated by a dot, meaning two half beats. Okay, let's sing this song. Remember, in your two four time signature, always start your counting first. And please make it slow. Make it slow. If you make it slow, it will be easier for you to understand. Don't you? The more you familiarize yourself, the more faster you can interpret copies but for now for beginners make it slow okay let's start i think that's slow enough 